I envision a South Sudan where I don't hear gunshots, where I can have a peaceful night, where the future of our generation and coming generations are secured. I envision a South Sudan where there is not only social justice, but also gender justice. And I envision a South Sudan that respects each and every single citizen, regardless of where they come from, what tribe they are. And their identity or tribe should not determine how far they go, where they go, whether they are successful or not. I want South Sudan where rule of law is respected, where everybody, everybody is not carrying arms, and where young people are given opportunity to go to school and to have a better future than, uh, than what is there today. Thank you. I want a South Sudan that does not split families. A South Sudan where I do not have to work in South Sudan while I send my child for school out of the country. I want South Sudan that is at peace. A South Sudan where people are united in purpose and live in harmony among themselves. I want South Sudan that invests in its people, that takes care of its veteran, war wounded, widows and orphans, and invests in the livelihoods of its population. I want South Sudan that is developing economically, in which poverty is being eradicated, and in which wealth is being created, in which people are being educated, and their human needs are being met. I want a South Sudan where there's plenty of food to feed everybody, and there are less arms and ammunition, rather than now, where there are plenty of arms and ammunition which might be capable of wiping out every South Sudanese. And yet people are dying of starvation. I want a South Sudan where I'm not asked which tribe I belong to before what I can do for South Sudan. I want a South Sudan where my tribe mates behavior is not relied on as a marking scheme for everything I am and can be. I want South Sudan that has a peaceful society. And according to one of the scholars, Professor Terence, what constitutes a peaceful society is a society that has rule of law. The economy is just. It gives its people the potential to, to reach their potential. It also has people who has ability to resolve conflicts without violence. But I also want to add that a society that fears God. <laughs>